same time. Looks like we are getting some snow today here in the beautiful state of Utah. Clifford is getting a whole new paint job it looks like. Now I just can't wait for the salt to be laid out on the roads and get thrown all over the truck. Anyhow, welcome back everyone, what's up? I'm super stoked to be making another video today. Well, I'm not too stoked for the first part of it, but towards the end there's a brand new surprise, a new addition to the channel that I know you guys are going to love so much and I can't wait for you to see it, so stay tuned for the end of the video. I have to stand in my garage to film because I don't want my lens getting wet because I just cleaned it. Probably just end up getting in my truck, turning on the heater, and finishing this video like that. If there was enough snow on the roads and they were actually covered, and it was a good snowstorm, none of the sissy stuff, you know I would be getting you guys the ultimate skirt skirt video right now. Now, some of you may be a little bit of confused from seeing the thumbnail and title from today's video, but don't worry, we're going to jump into that right now so I can hurry and explain everything. It's the bad news portion of today's video and then the good news is at the end but yeah it, it sucks anyways let's get started on that oh it is freezing i'm not the biggest fan of the cold what is your guys's temperature from where you're at watching today's video if any of you are from somewhere warm i am very jealous and i don't want to hear it uh, but I am not much of a winter person unless the snow has covered the roads and I can hoon around in the old Clifford Big Red Dodge. Since it is cold, I think it's only fair enough to give you guys a cold start since I haven't moved this in a couple days and it's cold. So turn that volume up and have your ears ready and prepared. So this button right here is the magical whistle button. Whenever you guys hear my truck, it's all. <coughs> Sounds like a tea kettle that's boiling or the all new Dyson vacuum. That is from this button. It is my exhaust brake, so we will turn it on. And then we will turn on cruise control and give it a little bit of a high idle. Now, here comes the real magic to the ears. So that's what temperature it is outside here in Utah again. Let me know down below what temperature it is from where you guys are watching this video. I am curious, unless it's somewhere warm and tropical and not cold and miserable. I do, however, only think that it is fair for you guys to go down and throw a like on today's video since I gave you such an awesome, beautiful, amazing sounding cold start to start your guys' day. Go down below and let me know a better sounding truck. I'll wait. Still waiting. Shutting the truck off, too noisy. I'm trying to talk, it is serious time. So to touch base on the thumbnail and title because that's probably why a lot of you guys clicked on this video unless you're an OG subscriber and you keep coming back and support me, which thank you, I love you. If you guys wanna be OG subscribers, hit that subscribe button with the notification bell on so you can be up to date on crazy things that happen in my life such as this one. Anyways, Quick rundown on what happened over the last month or a little bit longer, almost two months actually, of me getting led on between a marketing company and Ram Trucks. I get a message on Instagram one day, all, real quick, all messages and emails will be up here on the screen, non-edited, everything, how I've received them for you guys to see. Anyways, get a message from a marketing company saying, hey, we love your Instagram, which is placed right here. Always got a plug. And your YouTube, which you guys are watching and a lot of you love, you get awesome feedback. So they messaged me letting me know that and they wanted to work with me on sending me a brand new 
Ram 1500 truck, so not a diesel, just a stock 1500 truck, a brand new one from Ram. They wanted me to have it for three to four days, drive it around, post pictures of it on my Instagram, like three to four pictures, and then a couple YouTube videos on it. And so me getting this email, I'm freaking out because you guys know I love, love, love Ram trucks. And now this video is not here to sit and bash on Ram trucks. I'm just sharing some experience I've had between them and this marketing company. Just want to get that clear. So being me small on Instagram and YouTube still, I, I think I'm small, uh, still growing very fast. Getting that email was mind blowing. I was a kid on Christmas day. I was so excited. I instantly showed my dad, I called my girlfriend, I called my mom, I called my grandma, because I am running around in circles so excited about this email I got wanting to work with Ram. You guys have been following the channel for a while, you know every single truck I've loved and had and had so much fun with was a Ram truck. So why wouldn't I be excited? So of course we're going back and forth between emails and whatnot and they're just saying hey, we want to work with you. It'd be from this state to this state. Is that something you're interested in? If that's the case, you'll have to sign, you know, a bunch of agreements. You won't be able to work with any other companies. I think it was like six months to a year, something like that, which I was like, yeah, that's, that's fine. You know, we'll do that. Um, didn't hear anything for a little bit. I checked in like, oh yeah, everything's, you know, everything's going good. We're just, we're supposed to be getting an update here from Ram shortly. Okay, you know, I'm sitting here just waiting, checking my email every five minutes. I swear, no joke, like every five minutes because I'm so excited for this deal. There was also a large amount of cash on top of this deal that I would have been receiving. And that was a bonus because, you know, YouTube, it works. You don't make a ton of money. Like, you can, but I'm not necessarily in this for the money it's just that was a, an extra we'll call it a little bonus for working with ram because i'm not a sellout i don't i'm not doing this for the money i'm doing it for the relationship i've built with you guys and i further want to build with certain companies it just didn't happen that way with this one we're we're working this still out emailing back and forth like i said constantly checking the email and i kept feeling like this marketing company was leading me on leading me on and then finally I get an email showing hey everything's just about done like we're on step 9 out of 10 but there's one thing you got to do before we move forward on this and I was like okay well, what's that then they say your Instagram has nudity on it and I was like what and gun related pictures and so I'm like, okay. So I'm going through my Instagram and I see there's this picture. If you follow me on Instagram, you would have seen it. It's me laying on a toolbox with my underwear on and a welding helmet. Oh, so I guess they consider that nudity. Gun related pictures. I have quite a few, uh, some gun videos on YouTube and on my Instagram of me and my mom holding guns, uh, me and my buddies holding guns, whatnot. It's another sport, a hobby that I truly enjoy. I'm very passionate about. It's the second amendment. I love it and I'm going to constantly support it. They said I had to delete all gun related content and the nudity it wasn't even nudity. You guys can go look at the picture before moving to step 10 and finishing the deal. So I sat there and I was just so confused. And I was like, wait, Ram trucks are the ones that normally play the glamorous cowboy commercials of the guy in his cowboy hat out on the ranch loading hay bales onto his flat deck trailer, hauling them out, talking about how good the fuel efficiency is and how much horsepower and torque a truck has. Like, you guys play this glamorous cowboy, like American made man tough truck company and you don't want gun related pictures with your videos? Like, what? Message back the marketing company I work with, which by the way was a complete joke. And I tell them my feelings. I said, you know what? I don't care how much money you're going to give me. And it was a lot. It was a, it was a lot of money, okay? But you can't put a price on who you truly are. I'm not going to change myself for anyone. 
or for any amount of money. That's not who I am. Like I said, from the beginning, I'm not a sellout. And if I was a seller, I wouldn't grow a real, true family fan base such as all of you guys over this long period of time if I were a sellout. I'm telling them, no, not doing that. Don't care about the money. That's not who I am. Um, this, this, and that, which I'll be showing all the screenshots of the emails, and I'll be reading them as well. And they said, oh, no, 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 that's fine. We were just looking out for Ram trucks. Okay, again, this marketing company was a joke. We're working for Ram Trucks, they say, and I said, okay, well, what's, are we going to carry this on without me having to delete my gun-related pictures on Instagram and gun videos on YouTube? Because I'm not deleting them, and if you guys don't want to work with me because of that, that's fine. Just say, like, let's not play these games. And they, they're they saying, oh, no, we're going to let this move on to Ram Trucks, and we're going to let them make the final decision. I was like, good, that's who should be making the final decision, not you guys. And if anyone from Ram is watching this, please, please reach out to me. Let's clear some things up, because I don't know if this marketing company is making you look bad and just saying this stuff, or if you guys actually said it. I don't know. Whatever. I'm just expressing and sharing my experiences. I think it was about a month goes by, about three, yeah, three to four weeks goes by, and I haven't heard anything. And I was like, okay, this is weird. He said he was going to let Ram make the final decision. Did they say no? Did they say yes? Like, if they said no, I don't care. That doesn't hurt my feelings. That's fine. I just want to know. No, no playing games in Bug's life. So I reach out to him again. I felt like I always had to be the one to reach out with this company. And he says, oh, uh, hope you had a great Thanksgiving. Happy holidays. Good to hear from you. Um, it looks like Ram Trucks decided to go a different route and isn't going to be doing this, this marketing plan. And I was like, wait, what? I have some thoughts going in the back of my head and I'm slowly thinking, wait, why would they drag this on for so long and then not do it? You guys got to think. Imagine having a dog taking a tree, putting it in front of its face and just holding it there for months. Okay. I was excited to work with the Ram and to experience the new truck. The cash side of everything, the big chunk of cash, that's all irrelevant. I was excited to build a relationship and a bond with the Ram truck company because I've been such a Ram fan and work with them. I wanted that so much. And here I am just having this bone right in front of my face. I have to keep chasing it for almost two months. And all of a sudden they just take it away and say, nope, can't have it. I go to Ram Trucks Instagram page and I'm going through some of the people they follow. At the time I looked, I think it was 150 people they were following. I'm going through some of the people they're following that had, you know, similar follower accounts to my Instagram and I click on them. And I'm going through some of their feed and I see a post on multiple Instagram accounts of an ad of the brand new Ram 1500 truck that they were supposed to send me and I was supposed to post pictures on. And they're saying, hashtag ad talking about the truck and it was around the exact same time I was supposed to get my truck and do it. So they basically just said Ram was going a different route yet there's proof that Ram still did that marketing stunt. Like who's who's lying here? I got a lot so much emotion right now coming out of my face just it, it was very very upsetting not only between the marketing company and Ram Trucks. Again, if someone watching this from Ram, please reach out to me. Let's clear some things up. I don't want to burn any bridges. I would love to work with you guys someday. Um, but if your guys' policies are against gun-related pictures or content, then I will further no longer want to work with you. I just don't know if that's your guys' policies or not, because I was told by the marketing company you were going to make that decision, and then he comes back to me and says, you aren't doing it anymore, which tells me you made that decision if they're being honest. I don't know, my brain's spinning around and around. I'm so confused. But that's pretty much my experience with it. I, like I said, I will always support the Second Amendment. I am a gun lover. I love all firearms, target shooting, everything. That's just, it's an all American sport. I will continue to do it and I'm not going to sell out for anything. So if, I don't know, Ram, Ram trucks 
just doesn't really seem like that type of company from watching their commercials and how they market their trucks, but I could be wrong. I really could be wrong right now. Uh, I wanna know what you guys think on this. Letting me know down below in the comment section. Do you think this is something like, do you think Ram trucks, this is how their policies are and they're not the all American tough cowboy glamorous pickup truck company that they portray to be? I, I don't know. I, I just don't know. I'm curious on what you guys' thoughts and input, you know, are on the situation. Uh, do you think I'm I'm in the wrong? Do you think I'm in the right? I think I'm in the right, especially for turning down a huge amount of cash for not selling out and s believing and standing my ground on my certain beliefs, which everyone you know has the right to do. But and let's say. Ram Trucks is like, nope, you're right. That's what we said to the marketing company. That's our policies. We don't want to work with you because you're gun related, you know, content on your Instagram and YouTube. Sorry. Well, hello, Chevy and Ford. That door is now open. Step right in and let's work together. I did mention I was going to show proof between Instagram messages and emails. They will be up here on the screen and I'm going to read them. Anyways, the first very one I got came from Instagram, which got me so excited to where I started calling everyone I possibly knew and I was so excited to do this and show you guys how we're growing because I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for you. So I thank you every single day for that and giving me these opportunities and working hard for them. I just, I'm blessed. And that's why I'm so upset because it went the exact opposite way. But here's the first message. First and foremost message on Instagram, all of them will be here on the screen. You can read them while I read them. You're probably a much better and faster reader than I am. But first one says, Hi Kyler, I'm working on a project for Ram Trucks and we are currently looking for a few influencers to test drive the 2019 Ram 1500 and create some image and video posts for IG, Instagram. We can see you're an avid Ram fan. That's all my Instagram and YouTube videos are my truck, which you guys all love. Thank you, by the way. So I am hoping to get your interest and availability for this potential opportunity. Can you let me know if you're interested, where you are located, and the best way to contact you for more details? Thanks. My head exploded. My heart was pounding. Feel like a kid on Christmas day when I'm first reading this. I was that excited. Second message, my response, hello name. Thank you for reaching out to me. I'm sure as you can tell from my Instagram, I am a huge Ram fan. I'm not sure if you noticed my YouTube channel with 75,000 subscribers. We are now at 80 baby. Um, that channel is all automotive related and built by Ram trucks. I've had over the last year. I am interested in what you ha are offering and would love to hear much more about it. I strongly believe this is a good position for myself and I can give you the publicity you are after through via Instagram, YouTube, Facebook, and Snapchat. I'm currently living in the beautiful state of Utah and all my contact information is here. And they responded, this is the marketing company. Hi Kyler, thank you for sharing it. It is clear you're a huge fan of the brand. I can see that you've built up a great following. It's because you guys right there that are always commenting and liking the videos, keep it up. And you've built up a great following as well. I just sent you an email with more details and my contact info. If you'd please take a look at it and respond back with rates, etc., I'd appreciate it. Thanks. Now we go to the email. First email I get from the same lady talking to me on Instagram. She sends me the email saying, hi Kyler, to follow up on our Instagram conversation, I wanted to share some details and gauge your interest to potentially participate in an upcoming project with Ram Trucks. We are still finalizing the specific dates, etc., but at a high level, selected influencers would have a Ram truck delivered to them to use for three to four days around the October, December timeline, and would be asked to create and post one video Two images featuring the truck in your daily life, more specifics to be provided later, to your Instagram page and shared to your other social channels. Influencers would also have to agree that they would not participate in a paid collaboration with a competitive auto brand during that campaign for at least three months after. Okay, so I said six months at the beginning of the video. It's actually three. If you're still interested in potentially participating, can you let me know what your rates are for the above deliverables? If you don't have set rates for collaborations, I'd be happy to give you some guidance based on our averages and budget. Also, here are a couple examples from Ram's campaign, and then it shows 
some people that have worked with RAM previously. I then follow up saying, hello, thank you so much for all of the details. After reading over everything, I feel extremely confident in taking on this collaboration and becoming a part of this. I would, however, like your guidance on your current rates. I'm saying this because I wasn't in it for the cash. I was in it for building a, a re, re, I was in it for building a relationship with the company and wanting to grow with them, okay? Keep that in mind. I believe this is something that will be very beneficial for both parties, which I did, and can lead to future opportunities. Thank you. She follows up with selected rates and more information on what they want me to do for the Instagram and YouTube section. I then, however, send them my offer and saying, yeah, these rates will work. They respond with, hi, Kyler, sorry, about that, it looks like my response to you didn't send, I've received your info and will submit it to our client for review, which is Ram Trucks. Is, they're gonna review, it's their client. We will let you know as soon as we have feedback from the client. And I'm like, still on a freaking cloud nine adrenaline rush. I'm so excited to work with this company. A week or so goes by, I'm sitting there like, whatever, they don't wanna work with me. They don't like it. They don't like my Instagram. They don't like my YouTube. And then I get an email. I'm like, whew, finally, which states, Hi Kyler, I just wanted to share a quick update that the client is still reviewing options and we are expecting to have feedback in the next couple of weeks. Also, I'm CCing our campaign manager, not gonna put the name, as she will be your main point of contact moving forward. Name, we'll follow up with you as soon as we have more to share, but please feel free to reach out if you have any questions in the meantime. I'm like, okay, fine, gotta wait more time. I can do that though. A couple weeks go by. Nothing, and I'm being pretty patient at this point because I don't want to be, I'm not trying to be annoying, but at the same time, I'm excited. I want to get deals done. I want to get stuff done. That's what we're about. So a few weeks goes by. Seems like it's being a little drug out. I email them back and get this. I say, hello, I have not heard anything more on the deal regarding Ram trucks. Just curious on where everything stands. Please let me know if you need anything else from me. Thank you. Further on, end up getting an email from that same lady I was working with saying, oh, I don't work with this marketing company anymore. I wonder why, because they're a joke. Um, but here, reach out to this person. I was like, okay, you probably should have aligned that all up for me and not just leave me hanging, but I'll reach out to this person since you say so, and I do. This is what I say, hello, name. My name is Kyler Manning. I run multiple, multiple social media pages under the name Bug BMX, name from your marketing company reached out to me about partnering up with Ram Trucks a few weeks back. It seemed like we were getting very close to making this happen. I didn't end up hearing anything more and just received an email from her stating that she is no longer with the company since October 13th. She then gave me your information to reach out to you. Please let me know if you need anything more from me. Like, let's get this deal done. A couple days go by, finally get another email saying, Hi Kyler, it's great to hear from you and thank you for the note. We should be receiving updates on the creator selection this week from Ram, so stay tuned. We will circle back around with you as soon as we get the word and thank you for your patience. Okay, you guys, like this is going on for, I wait two weeks, get a little update, wait another two weeks, get a little update. I just feel like we're not getting anywhere at this point and I'm starting to be like, what is the deal? I then, however, say thank you for the update. I'm very kind, professional. Um, let me know if you need anything more. Some more time goes by. Don't hear anything. Ho, ho, ho! This is the update I got. The one I was like, what? Jaw dropped, hit the floor, cracked the tile. Kyler, quick update. We've heard from our agency partner and Ram is very close to finalizing details. One question that did come up from our partner, so they're saying it came up from Ram. They're saying it, you guys see the email, their partner Ram Trucks is if you'd be willing to archive, just delete, partial particular posts on your Instagram feed that include guns, partial nudity, and profanity, let me know your thoughts. Okay, if I've said a bad word on Instagram, it was probably like badass or hell. But as, okay. The nudity picture, which I talked about at the beginning, is a picture of me on the toolbox with a welding helmet in my underwear. No different than me wearing a swimsuit on the beach. Like, that's not nudity. And my favorite one is gun-related content. That's the one I did not like. However, I did want to work with this company and I did say, I said this, listen here. Hello, name. 
thank you for getting back in touch with me. Not the exact update I was expecting to hear over the years of doing this and growing all my social media platforms very rapidly have been from being myself. I have connected so well in many different aspects to my followers. Guns and the outdoors have always been a huge hobby of mine that I live for. Not going to lie, I'm a little shocked after seeing this from an American-made truck company that plays the luxurious cowboy-type commercials. I can archive the half-nudity picture if they would like. However, any gun-related pictures will continue to stay on my feed. That's Instagram and YouTube. If this is the deal breaker and won't allow further collaboration between the company, I completely understand. I've been born and raised to always be myself. You can't put a price on that. Let me know where everything stands next. Thank you again for all of your time. Yep, I let the cat out of the bag. And then I finally get a response. Kyler, totally understand and respect everything you've said. By no means is this direct response from the brand. Even though in the last email he said the brand was like making th that decision and they wanted me to do that. So he's already contradicting himself. But whatever, um, more the agency partner looking out for the best interest of their client. As they see it, I'm happy to share your feedback on the request and see where that lands us. Stay tuned and I'll get back in touch. So I'm thinking, okay, he's gonna let Ram know that this is my policy, my beliefs. I'm not changing it, even if it's a deal breaker. Now we wait and see if they're a real American truck company. Everything is taking its time, sweet, sweet time, like watching paint dry, except a lot, lot slower. And to give you guys some dates, the Instagram post that I very first read you'd see is started in September. We are now on November 26th. I say hello. I have not been further updated since we last spoke. Wondering where everything stands. Thank you. Let's not play games. Let's get to the point. If it's, if it's a no, say no. If it's a yes, let's party. Finally, I get a response. That's next day. We're not waiting weeks. I'm very curious when I see this email pop up. And here's the final, final answer. Hi Kyler, I hope you had a great Thanksgiving weekend. The brand is going a different route with the campaign and decided to pass for now. If anything changes with the current campaign track or there are future opportunities to collaborate, we will absolutely reach out to you. Enjoy the holidays. Really? Come on now. Once, one day you're saying, oh, we're this close this close but you just got to do this and and we're done the deal's done we'll make it happen we're this close and then the next oh they decided they're not doing it no more well first off i shouldn't have had to reach out for you to tell me that you should have told me instead of making me wait and then having to ask you that shouldn't have ever happened second i mentioned earlier in this video i went to ram trucks following and who they're following and went through some of their feed which you guys can do too and some of the people that are following, they did the same ad campaign over the same time I was supposed to do it. What are you, what is going on here, people? After that, I didn't even care to send another email back saying, oh, if there's any further collaborations for this campaign, we'll definitely reach out to you. No, that's, that's not the case, but I'm still like, if this marketing company is being... <coughs> Oh, sorry. If this marketing company is being upfront and honest and doing everything they said, they are making Ram trucks look terrible. Which Ram, that's why I'm making this video. I want it to be brought... I don't know why I keep burping. I want this to be brought to your attention. Or if, you know, they are right and that's what you said, then I guess that's it. That's how Ram trucks is they're not as american as you think i love america so much it is the best damn country there is nothing wrong with other, any other countries i just it's mine so i love it no different than i expecting you guys love from where you're from but yeah i'm, I'm a proud american and if i'm going to drive a truck from a company that's also betrays to be a proud american then they should probably support gun rights and shouldn't be concerned if I post a picture of their truck on my feed. Not even a picture of their truck with a gun, it's just I have other gun-related pictures. Like, 
That's how silly this is. Anyhow, enough of this rant. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed reading through the emails and hearing me talk and blabber on whatnot. If you've made it this far on the video, thank you so much. Definitely throw a like down on this video. Let me know your thoughts and your beliefs in the comment section below if I made the right decision. Uh, I, I truly do feel like I did. Oh. It is freezing in here. The truck has not been running this entire time because it's too noisy. So we're going to go inside and oh, I just about forgot. Before this video ends, I have to show you the new addition to the channel. Finally, some good news that actually happened. Let's go check it out. Before I walk in the door to show you guys the all new addition. Do any of you have any guesses? If you do, I bet you're, you're not gonna get it. But I'm so excited to show you. There we go. And the new addition to the channel is, drum roll, a puppy! Yes, you guys can see, this is the new addition to the channel. His name is Bear because he looks like a big old teddy bear. He is a golden doodle. He uh, comes from an English golden retriever mixed with a toy poodle, which gives him this nice luxurious curly hair like mine. Pretty soon we'll be able to give him a man bun as well. But yeah, he's got nice little bear paws as you can see, but he's snoring right now. He's a sleepy guy. Anyways, this is the new addition to the channel. This is why I'm so excited. I've been smiling, it's been so hard not to put anything on Instagram or Snapchat and YouTube with this guy yet, but he is the cutest little thing. You can be expecting to see him in all the vlogs from here on out, but anything to say, Bear? Oh, really? What's that? Yeah? He says go down and like the video. Anyways, I love you guys all so much. Thank you for the awesome awesome support. Let me know what you think of Bear down below in the comments. Leave a like for me and him. I will see you guys in the next video. Peace from me and Bear.